In this video, I will be discussing how to reorder, duplicate, and remove PDF pages using the page ordering feature in Mobile Sheets. To begin, edit a song using a PDF and go to the Files tab of the Song Editor. When a PDF is selected, the Page Order field will display the range of pages used from the PDF. If another file type, such as an image, text, or Chord Pro file is selected, the Page Order field will be blank and disabled. This is because image files only contain a single page, and Chord Pro files do not have a predetermined number of pages. There are two ways to access the screen for rearranging pages. The first way is to tap the Page Order field. The second way is to tap the icon with the three dots next to the file in the File list and tap Rearrange Pages. Before explaining how to use the Rearrange Pages screen, it is important to note that the Page Order field on the Files tab can be long pressed or right clicked on Windows in order to directly enter the page numbers. This shortcut can be convenient when it is not necessary to visually see the layout of the pages or if the page order is very simple, such as a single page. I will demonstrate changing the page order to only include the first two pages with this method. After long pressing the page order field, I will enter 1-2 for the page range and then tap the checkmark icon to accept the changes. In general, when modifying a page order, enter the numbers of the pages in the order you wish to see them with a comma separating every page or range of pages, with a dash being used to specify ranges such as 1-3-2-5. I will now reset the page order back before proceeding to the Rearrange Pages screen. The Rearrange Pages screen provides a more user-friendly interface for modifying the page order, as thumbnails are visible for each page, making it easier to understand how the pages will appear when viewing the song. For each thumbnail, the PDF page number is displayed in the top left corner of the thumbnail, and four icons are displayed at the bottom. The first icon is used to delete the page from the page order. If we tap that icon, we can see that the page order is updated to be 2-5, as the first page has been removed. To undo that change, tap the Undo icon in the toolbar at the bottom left corner. The second icon will rotate the page 90 degrees clockwise. To rotate all pages at once, use the rotation icons in the toolbar at the bottom left corner. The third icon duplicates the page and updates the page order to include that duplicated page. If we duplicate the second page, we can see that the page order now shows 1-2,2-5 as the second page has been duplicated. I will once again tap Undo to delete the duplicated page. The fourth icon shows additional options when tapped. The first option that is shown in this pop-up is Insert File. This will insert any selected files after the current thumbnail. We can see that if a three-page PDF is selected, 
that the three pages from that file are inserted after the thumbnail, and the page order is updated to place those three pages after the second page. Any inserted file is placed at the end of the current PDF, which is why we see the new range of 6 8 inserted after the second page. Inserted files cannot be removed by tapping Undo. The individual thumbnails must be removed. If Insert Blank Page or Template is selected, a dialog is displayed with a blank page and various templates. One or more copies of any of these images can be inserted. Next, if the Insert File from Library option is selected, we can pick any file used by any song in the entire library, which will be inserted into the current PDF. I will pick a three-page PDF from the list to demonstrate. The last option in the pop-up is View Page. If this option is tapped, it will provide a full screen view of the page. This can be useful if the thumbnail is too small to make out a particular detail on the page. Tap the image to dismiss it. Before proceeding, it is helpful to explain the fifth icon in the toolbar at the bottom left. This icon will add the last missing page in the PDF. To demonstrate, First, delete pages 4 and 5 from the 5-page PDF. Now tap the Add icon in the toolbar, and it will first add back page 4, then page 5. This can be useful if the page order is only showing a subset of the pages, but you want to add the missing pages back quickly without having to manually modify the page order. In order to directly modify the page order, there are two options. The first way is to tap the page order, which will display a dialog that allows direct entry of the order. I will demonstrate by entering 2-4 which will only display pages 2 through 4. The keyboard can also be changed using the drop-down on the dialog if any characters such as the dash are unavailable on the numeric keyboard. An even faster way to modify the page order is to long press it on the Rearrange Pages screen, enter in the new page order, and tap the check mark. The last few options to explain are the options in the action bar. The Add File option will add any selected files to the end of the current page order, which is identical to the previously discussed option to import files. The Save option will just save any changes. If any files are inserted into the PDF, this will cause the underlying PDF to be permanently modified. When exiting the screen, Mobile Sheets will display a warning about this before saving the changes. If no files were inserted and the page order was just changed, then the save will not require a confirmation as the underlying file will not be modified in any way. If the overflow icon in the action bar is tapped, several other options are available. 
The first is Update PDF with Current Page Order. This is a very important option for certain situations. If our page order is set to 1-5,1-5, this will duplicate all of the pages in the PDF. When using features that modify a PDF page, such as the Annotation Snipping Tool, every instance of page 1 will be modified and will show the same changes. In order to make each page in the PDF unique and unaffected by changes to other pages, the Update PDF with Current Page Order will flatten the order and it will instead become 1-10, as I will now demonstrate. Flattening the order allows the snipping tool to be used without impacting duplicated pages. The next option in the Overflow menu is Save as New PDF. This will save the current modifications as an entirely new PDF and update the song to use that new PDF. The original file will be unchanged. The Save as New Song option similarly saves a new PDF and also creates a new song to use that PDF. The Image Correction option will load the Image Correction screen, which provides a way to fix skewed pages and change the brightness and contrast if needed. This feature is covered in detail in the Adding Files Using the Tablet Camera tutorial video so it will not be covered here. The Settings option provides a way to change whether a prompt occurs when files are modified or to default to saving a new PDF when modifications occur. One of the things that makes the page ordering feature so powerful is that each instance of a page can have different cropping, annotations, link points, bookmarks, and smart buttons. This can be used to handle repeats without having to jump between pages, which works especially well when turning pages with a Bluetooth pedal. This will be discussed more later in the video. One thing that should be mentioned is that page ranges will always be interpreted from the lower page to the upper page. If the range 5-3 is entered, for example, this will display page 3, then 4, then 5. It is rare to have to reverse the sequence of pages, but this can be handled by specifying each page individually, such as 5, 4, 3 with the previous example. To remove pages from a PDF, specify a page range that doesn't include those pages. For example, to remove pages 2 and 4 from a 5-page PDF, enter a page order of 1, 3, 5. The pages are not removed from the PDF itself, so they can always be added back in the future if needed. When working with page numbers in mobile sheets, it's important to note that song pages always take into account the page ordering. In the previous example, where pages 1 through 3 were repeated, the second instance of page 3 would be shown as page 6 in mobile sheets. This can sometimes make it difficult to track the original PDF page numbers. Additionally, if the PDF has cover pages, the PDF page numbers used for the page ordering will not match the page numbers listed on the scores of the PDF. Improvements will be added in the future to better handle this, but for now it can be helpful to add a note in the file 
that lists the offset from the first cover page in the PDF to the first numbered page. When using the page order feature to handle repeats, it can be helpful to crop pages so that repeated content is not displayed. For example, if the first instance of the page is cropped to remove content after the jump, and the second instance is cropped to remove content before the jump, there will be no confusion about what should be played next. This works particularly well with the vertical scrolling display mode, as the pages will be stacked together vertically, and the differences in height between the pages will not impact the usability or scaling of the pages. I will now show an example of handling repeats within a score. To start, I will edit a score and change the page order to handle the repeats. In this instance, pages 2 and 3 are duplicated multiple times as shown. The pages can then be cropped to only display the sections that need to be played. Tap the cropping icon, turn through the pages, and crop each section as needed. When the score is loaded with the vertical scrolling display mode, we can see that all of the sections are stacked in order and the repeats are handled by only showing the sections that need to be played. As demonstrated in this video, the page ordering feature in Mobile Sheets can be used to duplicate, reorder, and remove PDF pages without modifying the PDF itself. This opens up the possibility to use different annotations, cropping, and more on duplicated pages. The Rearrange Pages screen also opens up the ability to merge files or persist changes permanently to PDFs when needed. Page ordering is one of the most powerful and valuable features in mobile sheets. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.